collect all the dollars near the um, device for pleasuring people, sort of thing. And then we're gonna walk down this hallway and see something a little bit weird. Poor Jasmine, but I am so glad you didn't. I'm sorry, Mr. Ryan. I didn't know. I didn't know Fontaine had something to do with it. I, what? What are you doing? No! No! Don't please! I loved you, don't, don't please! No! No! <sighs> okay. So random flashback, random little things in here. I'm not going to say anything about it because uh, I don't feel like it. And I'll just leave that to you if you haven't played through the game before to kind of rationalize. But uh, she's dead. Unfortunate. And she had some fine gin on her, which I think I can use for God knows what. I really don't know. Okay. No music. Pregnancy. That creepy Dr. Tenenbaum promised me it wasn't gonna be a real pregnancy. They just take the egg out once Mr. Ryan and I had oh I needed the money so bad. But I know Mr. Ryan's gonna suss it out. Gonna know I wasn't being careful. Gonna know I sold the Mr. Ryan's gonna be so mad at me. Uh. Do you think that means? Oh, here we go. Here's the guy. Okay, he's gonna be at the bar. So we're gonna take out our heat-seeking RPGs. And we are going to do this. Who does he think he is? Uh, Orton, we're not because I delayed reaction, man. Okie dokie. You son of a biscuit, get back here. Seriously? Am I missing all of these? They're supposed to be heat seeking! What the hell? Get back here, butthole. There we go. Hector Rodriguez, the drunkard. With that, that's all four of them, and we can go complete the crazy monument. But first, we're going to finish exploring, and we can start downstairs now, basically. So first, we're going to go... I think we might have already been in five... No, that's not what it's called. We've already been in here, I'm pretty sure, but I just want to make another round really quick and... Just make sure. Do we have a door code? Uh, bio. I'm buying out a lot of things. I really shouldn't be doing that. No. I just want to get everything in here with simple and easy difficulty. What are you doing in here? Weird. I've never had a big daddy actually follow me in here before. That's, uh, new. I've never seen that. Okay. So the next place we're gonna go is a little place over here called Sinclair Spirits. And... You might notice something a little bit odd. Look at all these. What are these? Kind of weird. Oh. <laughs> well, that's your fault, isn't it? Yep, they're, they're more of the things that Cohen has apparently made, but... Well, this is just kind of creepy, isn't it? We definitely want to hack this turret. I'm gonna go ahead and spoil that for you. It's fairly, fairly good for us to do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come around here, we're gonna hit that little switch, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna open that little secret passage over there, and then 
well, this is going to get kind of creepy. Look, a power to the people station. What are we going to use? We're going to use it for, let's see, breakage. Chance of bolts breaking on impact. That's good, but I don't want that yet. I want damage. I want damage so I can have crazy uber trap bolts. So we're going to click damage, and then we're not going to move. You know why we're not going to move? Because of that. Without invisibility, that can be super crazy creepy. And I want you to hold still, please. Hold still. Hold still. Jerk. We're going to come across something called um, paper mache splicers, I think. They're like spider splicers, except they don't make any noise at all. And they're creepy, 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 creepy. Um, I don't like them, which is why you should probably wait to do this until you've already killed two of your assassination targets. Because otherwise, you're going to have to deal with them in the midst of pretty much everything else. Because they replace all of the normal spider splicers, because you notice all these people are gone now? Yeah, they're going to start roaming around the level a little bit. And the only thing that alerts you to where they are is the click, 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 click that they make when they're going across the ceiling. They are creepy, creepy as balls. If I have not said that already, they are super crazy creepy. And they come out of freaking nowhere half the time. Now I'm forgetting something, because there is, I know one room, one room that I don't remember seeing that I'm pretty sure is over here, but, uh, let's, that's what our map is for. So, what do we have here? Sinclair Spirits. Um... Actually, that's one place I know I haven't been yet. Like I said, no. No. That's another thing. They get over the stun effect really, really quick, so you have to be kind of fast about killing them. What's this? More items downstairs? Okay. This is another creepy part, if I remember correctly. Dead. I'm gonna wait and go invisible. <laughs> They're like weeping angels. Bastards. No. hate you guys. Don't test me. Extra nutrition too. That's pretty decent, but I'm not going to take it right now because I've got way better. Um, so we're going to head back upstairs and then we're going to go back to talk to Mr. Cohen, fill in his masterpiece, and see what the heck he wants now. We got any bad guys in here? No, we don't. It's oddly eerie and quiet after you unlock the uh, paper and mache splicers. <sighs> Could have probably gone back and gotten those uh, what you do hickeys. Those RPGs from the one guy I killed, but I meh 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 meh. Can I get anything from you, please? I'm starting to think that I've already gotten uh, Wrench Jockey 2. Because I, I really, really, really want Wrench Jockey 2 for what's about to happen. It It's very, very handy. But I'm pretty sure I've already gotten it. I can... Actually, I can just check the gene bank to see if I've already gotten it. What am I doing? Let's see, what do we got equipped? 
Do, 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 do. Yeah, I do. I've got Wrench Jockey 1 and 2 equipped, and that's going to make the next part very, very, very fun and very, very easy. Um, don't have any Adam for more stuff from that. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go down here, and we're gonna clear out whatever splices are already in here, and you wanna make sure you do this right after, or right before you fill in the third part of the, uh, the artwork piece thing. Because after you fill in the third part of the artwork piece thing, something very, very funny happens. And I don't mean setting off an alarm. Uh, I'm gonna hang out for a little bit and just let these cameras do their work. But we'll get to that in a second. Okay. No. Not again. Quit doing that, you crazy little machine. And I'm almost out of cash. I don't think I've actually been over this way before. They seem to be having something about Tussle. No. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna start hacking again after this. What do we got in here? Is that a flamethrower turret? I think it is. Oh boy! Flamethrower turret. Well, that's cool. There's only one side, though. No! Hello, I saw you go in here. No! I'm really running low on Eve now. I need to get some of that. But that can wait a little bit. So before... I was like... I was getting ready to go turn that one artwork piece in, but I forgot that I haven't been back here before. Well, that's creepy. But they're all dead. At least they should be. If they're not dead, well, this is going to make me very unhappy. Okay, they're all dead, yeah. Okay. So, what we're going to do now, let me check the map, is we're going to go through the cocktail lounge, because I'm pretty sure there's something important back in there. What I, what it is, I just don't, I don't know right now. But I'll find out. If I had to guess, I'd probably say it is a another power to the people station because I've only seen one this level what was that oh okay um I'm auto hacking <laughs> super lazy oh boy the next one I definitely can't derp around on I really have to do it the normal way hello Indian hello Native American, crazy statue guy.